I love feeling like royalty when I'm walking around the streets. I love wearing gold. Everything that I wear has to be comfortable. Today I'm wearing a Japanese vintage fur. I actually got it from a flea market near FIT. So this here is a, it's just a silk caftan that I make. It's one of my favorite silhouettes that I always do in my collections. I still get inspiration from my mother. We were raised Muslim, so like the cloaks and the things that she used to wear and the tunics. I actually wore this to a wedding, but it's fun because I can wear it on the street and make it feel a little bit more like every day. And pairing it with my favorite holy jeans. These are just some Levi jeans that I got from a little thrift store. I think in the East Village. They mentally take me right into Delta throughout the day. You're showing a lot of skin, but not too much. They were just boots that I cut up and I sprayed silver. So I love how the creases of the, of the boot when it's cut out, it kind of makes this crease with the spray paint. Right when I see the boot, I see the stitches, I see the lines, and I'm like, okay, I'll just cut there. I don't even draw on them, I just I just take a scissor and just go at it. A lot of these pieces I've never taken off, ever. The bag is part of my collection. To me, it's heaven. I, I got inspired when I was in India, watching different people and, you know, carry certain sacks. And, and so this is my bindi bag, and it has like this little red dot on the bottom. It's like a little... <laughs> Bendy. I feel most powerful when I'm able to love someone unconditionally. To me, that's power. To be able to tell someone something just as simple as you're beautiful or you're amazing and just really be that, that pillar of strength. 